Hi YouTube, I'll be showing you guys how to retouch up your braids, only if they're done the rubber band method way. This way is probably the most ghettoest way possible, but you will do whatever it takes if you need your braids in just a little bit longer. We lit, lit, lit. We lit, lit, lit. No, they can't put us out, cause we lit, lit. So right here, I'm going to give y'all a 360 of my hair to basically show you how it looks. And once I'm done, I'm going to basically show you how it looks afterwards. Oh, Lord. This is my first time even seeing it. That looks a mess. Girl, why nobody told me to redo these? Probably because it's time for it to come out. And I will take them out really soon because I'm going to get my hair rebraided. I just don't have a wig yet to put it on so basically i'm showing y'all that i already did three of them because baby i started recording and i was not i didn't have my camera the right way basically so anyway i have my equal styler my rubber bands i'm moving too fast to this video y'all and my comb <laughs> i'm gonna basically just show y'all um how to do three of them up front since i already did three i'm gonna do three more and then I'm just going to do the back on my own. And then I'm going to just come back and show y'all the final products. So basically what I'm doing or showing you guys is my hair. I am trying to find a rubber band. Sometimes you will need a comb to get your rubber band out. If not, you can just take it out with your hand. I normally sit there and try to break the rubber band and slide it out. Um... If your hair already slipping out, you don't have this problem. You know what I'm saying? So, you can just already pull it. Basically, I already retouched up my braids. I'm just redoing it again. It won't last that long. So, anyway, there goes the braid. The braid is off. Off my hair. And then now, I'm going to just slowly slide off the rubber band. You see all that dirt? That's from the Eagle Styler. Um, look, bitch. I found some water. <laughs> water. Normally, I, when I'm in the bathroom, I'll just put some water on it and then restart it. But... At first, I didn't think I had water. But I'm just going to take this comb and just basically comb it off. Because it's definitely going to come off that way. I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. But it's definitely going to come off. Watch. Boop. <laughs> just like that. Ah! <laughs> so anyway, what I'm doing is getting my Eagle Styler. And I'm basically going to put it all around the hair. Because I need it to lay back down. So I'm putting it on the front, I'm putting it on the back, I'm going to put it on the side. You see, I just lay it down and you can see I'm just getting everything basically because you're, you're basically starting all over. You're restarting and refreshing up your hair. Um, I really don't know much about hair, you guys. I just had to find a way because I didn't have a wig, you know, to put on until I get my hair done. But it's okay because I'm going to get braids done in my hair, but I'm going out tonight. I can't be looking rough. So anyway, once I put the Eco Styler on, I get my rubber band and I'm going to basically twist my hair and put it in a rubber band. I don't really twist it all the way anymore, but as you see, I'm just doing a little twist. And I'm going to put the rubber band on. Basically. There we go. Come on, Brian. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to keep doing that. It's going to turn white or whatever, but once you're done putting a rubber band on, just wipe it off so it doesn't sit there. Because me, personally, I don't like that white stuff at all, okay? So, I'm going to do that, and then, as you see, I'm just wiping it off. Just like that. Yes, ma'am. So, there go my little... <laughs> yeah. So basically, I'm going to take the comb and put it through and make me a little hole. And I'm going to slip my hair right through it. It's really simple, y'all. That's why I'm only showing y'all three. And y'all can do that over your whole head. Uh, how many pieces you need. And keep going. I'm looking outside because I'm really supposed to be next door. So as, I, as you see, I got that hair in. And then what I'm going to do is or just wrap it around. Just wrap it around. But you have to hold your hair down. I don't know why I'm not holding it. There go. There go the finger. You got to hold your hair down because it's going to slide right out. See, I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> Messing up. I have a mirror below me that y'all can't see. That's why I keep looking down. Um. So, basically, yes. You're going to wrap the hair around. And then the final thing that you would do is put the rubber band on. Another rubber band. So, that's why you're going to need a lot of rubber bands. So, basically, yes. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Y'all, I'm really slow with this. That's why I really could speed it up, but I just really want to show y'all the basics. And there I go digging for my other rubber band. That should already have laid out. Look at me, taking a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. 
they go to rubber band and I basically just put it on. You still have to hold the head down because it's just gonna slip out and that's just gonna be a fail. Y'all look so ugly right here. I'm so concentrated, y'all. Do not come near me when I'm concentrated because you're just gonna be beaded out. So yeah. Hold the head down, wrap it around. It ain't gonna be too perfect, but from a distance, nobody can ever tell that you redid your hair like that. That's why you need black ribbons. bands. Don't get them look colorful ribbons bands because you're gonna look retarded. So yes, um, I used to get mad because I used to think, okay, people gonna notice that I redid my hair, but no, people be like, from distance, they can't tell. So see how that's just down? It may not be too perfect, but those are done. So I'm gonna do these two more, show y'all, and then I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'm gonna show you guys the rest. Um, last time I retouched up my braids, I only retouched the top part because I didn't think the back needed to be done. But as y'all see earlier, the back needs to be done. So I'm basically going to retouch up those, show y'all, and that's how we're going to do things, okay? So basically, I cannot find a rubber band. When you can't find a rubber band, that's when you take your comb and pull it. I normally break the rubber band because I'm putting new ones on. And normally it'll slide right out once you break the rubber band. Um, sometimes I might have put two in there, I don't know. But it would normally slide right out. Do not break your head, though, y'all. They're going to break. So, basically, I'm going to show y'all again. I'm probably going to fast forward uh, the last one. And then we can go from there. Took the rubber band. I got my little dirt. and put my little water in there, probably. That's probably what I'm doing. Girl, look. Ah! At the water. It's right there already, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. um, Putting a little water on there a little bit. Y'all, oops, y'all see my little bald spots, but I'm going to be showing y'all at the end that, uh, why did I use that side of the comb? Right, I'm going to need to wash my comb tonight. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I use. I use wild growth oil. I'll show y'all that. Or you can use dew growth oil. Those both work for people who hair are pulling out. It's just my ages. I got a lot of hair, y'all. Um, I want to let y'all know, be careful who braids y'all hair because... My hair fell out when I had got my hair done by some Africans. I actually love the way they braid. They actually braid fast, you guys, really fast. But the thing is, they do them tight. Um, they didn't listen when I said um, be gentle on my edges. They just did whatever. And then I did it the regular way, which it when, it, when the braid fall out, baby, the whole hair fall out, okay? So I'm getting my hair back together. Um, I'm, I'm, ah, I'm basically wearing braids until uh, probably January to see how my natural hair looks since I'm transitioning over and uh, I'm about to buy me a wig so it's up there it's up there so basically as you see me doing right now is putting a rubber band back on and you see it's turning white which I will rub off at the end I'm just waiting, just waiting, just waiting because I keep going a lot of times. You really don't have to go that long because it actually holds up. So, there we go, wiping it off. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't see it just looking more neater. It may not be perfect, but it's looking more neater. You know what I'm saying? You can't really do this with regular braids. That's why I like rubber band. Rubber band. Oh my god, rubber band <laughs> braids. But at the same time, I don't like it because I feel like it don't last that long because they just be quick to start slipping. You know what I'm saying? You can really redo them yourself, but who has time to be doing that over and over, right? Right. Okay. So there you go. I was messing up, y'all. So it's okay if you don't get it the first time through. You'll get it somehow, some way. By the way, you cannot do this with nails because I tried to get my nails done and I thought, oh, I'm gonna do my hair afterwards. And baby, it took me hours. This is not something you can do with nails. So if you don't have nails, go ahead and re research up your braids. Only rubber band method way, okay? Um, I think the regular, the regular way to do braids. I don't really think you can retouch them up. You probably can a little bit, uh, just like the front area, but you don't need to keep doing that by the way don't keep doing this at all this is just when you need it in for a little longer don't sit there and try to get braids and then think oh I'm a, i can retouch them up over and over and over again don't do that y'all please don't take your hair wash it do something <laughs> so yeah that's me putting a braid over again holding my hair down um, I basically talk too much because I didn't really show y'all much. But I showed it in the front. I mean, the first time I showed it to y'all, the second time, as you can see, what I'm doing, the same thing. It's real simple, easy. Take your Ica Styler, lay your head down, uh, get your rubber band, put it, uh, wrap your head in the rubber band, then get your braid, put it back in, and basically rub it around. 
So now I'm going to do this last one. I'm going to speed it up for you guys. And then I'm going to come back. So I actually have to go. I'm going to do another 360 though. I didn't do all of my braids, but I did some so you would not see any of the long hang times. But the thing is that I did realize is that um, my hair grew, like for real, and it grew fast. Mario knew that my braids was overdue, but baby, just wait on it. My hair is growing. Anyway, I wanted to um, show you what I used to lay my edges down. I use, everybody use Quillis now, I think. Not everybody, but a lot of people. I use this to lay my hair down. And I'm gonna just do a, three little, a quick little 360 for y'all. So y'all can see my hair. You don't see none of that little hang. Yes. It looks a mess right now, but I'm gonna do the rest later. I just wanted to show y'all that this how it will look when it's touched up. You just do the rest of your braids, do your whole hair, you'll be set, you'll be fine. Um, I wanted to show y'all that I told y'all in a video that this is what I use for, um, to put on my, you know, my hair. <laughs> my scalp, that's the word I'm looking for. I put this on my scalp, uh, to grow my hair. Another one I use is called Dew Growth Oil. Um, it actually smells better than this one, so you can like put that on and go out. But this one, I like to put it on nice time because it do not smell good at all. So basically, that is the end of my video. It gives me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment if y'all did this before, comment if it helps, and tell me what y'all want for my next video. I'll probably have stuff in mind, but if y'all throw out something better, that would be great. So yeah, this is the end of my video. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy. That is my advice to you guys. Um, please, like I said earlier, do not think that you can just do this all the time. This is just when you need your braids in for a little bit longer. Um, other than that, have a great one. We lit, lit, lit. We lit, lit, lit. No, they can't put us out, cause we lit, lit, lit.